Hey everyone, it's Mark from Ice Cream Meltdown, and I just got back from an awesome vacation. I went on a carnival cruise to Mexico, first time I've ever been on a cruise ship. So in this video, I'm going to give you my review of the, the top, the best, and the worst ice cream flavors that I tried on the Carnival Panorama, plus a couple of stops in Mexico. And stick around to the end, and I will show you a preview of a Mexican inspired ice cream that I just picked up at Trader Joe's this week. So first I'm going to start with the worst one I had which was in uh, near Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. It was a little shop where it said ice cream in English um, and it looked good. It was a cool little town called San Sebastian up in the mountains. Um, where rich people used to live in Mexico, but now it's just a normal pretty town. And we got ice cream and it just came in this little cup. It was expensive. It was $2 for a little cup. The woman went into the back room. We couldn't see what she was doing. Shaving up ice, like ground up ice, and then brought out the little cup of ice um, with this mixed yellow berry in there and there was no cream whatsoever. So I don't know how you can call that ice cream. Maybe the translation they got it wrong. I'm not sure. But it wasn't very good and it cost $2, so definitely not worth a stop there. Although it was a cool little place. A nice place to visit, great town. That was the worst. Uh, second worst was we went to Mazatlan and I had a great time with the family doing the zip lines. Um, so that was awesome and we had a delicious lunch, authentic Mexican food after. And then there was this little Mexican shop where they were selling ice cream. So I opened the freezer. Here's a picture I'll show you. Uh, here with all the different flavors um, and then when you open it up um, there, the first one I had was mango and it had this thick icy layer of chili pepper powder on there which they love to do in Mexico they love to put it on their fruit um, but it didn't work for me in the ice cream I tried several bites was not too excited about it and then there was a cookies and cream and like a strawberry or bubblegum one which was not great either and that night three of us in the family were not feeling well so I don't know if it's the ice cream or what, but that place is not awesome either. All right, so let's move on to the Carnival Panorama cruise ship. This was a massive boat with like 5,000 people on it. Um, it was a great time. I loved it. There's a water park on top, all sorts of great food, a, a guy's burger place, you know, awesome cruise. Um, and the, the four things that I'm going to review there, the one I would least recommend is the frozen yogurt. It was okay, but kind of icy and tasted artificial. Not too bad. I mean, I'd still eat it if there weren't any other options, but not my favorite of the ones they had there. And then next up on the ladder, number three, they had regular soft serve chocolate and vanilla, and that was pretty good. I'd say it's comparable to what you can find at McDonald's or another fast food restaurant. Um, and it was on tap all day long. You could have it any time of the day, um, which I had plenty of. So that was tasty. No complaints there. Um, and then there's some special hours between like 11 and 2.30 on the 10th floor of the ship. There was gelato. So there were a couple of ladies making gelato there, different flavors each day. And that was really tasty. My favorite one was the raspberry gelato. So if you ever make it on this ship, go for that gelato. It's included in the price of the cruise. So it's a great deal. You can have as much as you want. And I really like that raspberry gelato. It was a pretty subtle flavor. It was super creamy and milky, loved it. Um, and then my favorite, which was, I tried a whole new ice cream, um, I guess, I don't know what you call it, but it was a ice cream cake called a baked Alaska. And some of you have probably had that. I had never had a baked Alaska and I actually ordered it off the menu, not knowing really what it was. And it's just like a thick thing of ice cream. There's a little bit of dough on the top and bottom. And then it has a meringue coating on the outside and I think they use like a blowtorch or something or bake it to get it nice and toasty. So somehow you have like the cold middle and then the hot top that's baked there. And I really enjoyed the baked Alaska. It wasn't my, fa uh, my family's favorite thing, but on the trip that I just had to Mexico, those were my favorites. Um, highly recommend going on a cruise like that if you can. It's taken me a long time. I'm in my 40s and that was the first one I've, I've gone on. Um, but if you get a chance, go there, eat as much ice cream as you, your hearts desire. Um, so this is Mark from Ice Cream Meltdown. Thanks a lot for watching. Oh, I do have one preview for you. Picked it up here. Uh, in my next video, I will be reviewing this one. 
This is the Orchata ice cream, inspired ice cream from Trader Joe's right there. So sticking with the theme of Mexico and delicious flavors, I like horchata. I'm excited to review this one. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh, look out for this review uh, coming up on the Trader Joe's Orchata ice cream. Thanks and we'll see you soon.